हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सम इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ राइट इन दैट वी गॉट फाइंड द एक्सप्रेशन इज एफ इज इक्वल टू बाय ग्रेविटेशन ऑफ कोर्स एफ इज इक्वल टू जी इनटू एम डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वायर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कांसेप्ट ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी अबाउट द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ यू नो दैट when the particle is placed above it is on the surface of the earth when the particle when the body is placed above the surface of the earth at a height h from the surface of the earth that means it is there on the object the other way that we are taking here the point p is placed above the surface of the earth the surface will be there acceleration due to gravity equation g is equal to gm divided by r square you know that If the particle is placed, the point P, the distance from the surface of the earth to point P is that is h. Then we have here g dash p is acceleration due to gravity at the point P. You know that g is acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth. R is the radius of curvature of the earth surface. Right? So it is the center of the earth surface. Then we will write the expression for acceleration due to gravity. Find the find the expression for acceleration due to gravity. So first I will write expression for gravitational force by using universal law of constant. Universal law of constant, Newton's law of constant equation. The expression gravitational force F is equal to G into m into m divided by R plus H whole square. The equation for gravitational constant. The gravitational force F is equal to g m1 m2 divided by r square. But here the object is placed at a distance point to p. That is distance from the surface of the earth to point p is h. So that gravitational force F is equal to g m means mass of the earth. Smaller than means it is mass of the given body. R is radius of the earth. Uh, h is the distance from surface of the earth to point of the earth so there is r plus h is the whole square it is a equation number it is a equation number 1 next write the i will write equation for acceleration due to gravity at the point p is there is gravitational force f is equal to m into g dash right as said we have discussed why it is g before The equation for gravity force is by using Newton's laws of motion. Yam is equal to yam into y. Y means acceleration due to gravity. Here we are writing acceleration due to gravity is g. But now we are representing g dash. Why? Because of acceleration due to gravity at a point p is g dash. So we are representing with the different terms. Why? Because of if we are writing here also g means we are confused. It is also g in equation on the surface of the earth. Acceleration due to gravity g. So it is little bit. This is all to compare. So here we are using to compare the equation for acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth, acceleration due to gravity upon the surface of the earth. So that is g dash. Right. Next is equation one. Next compare equation one and two. Equation one and two. So there is m g dash equation number two. G m m divided by r plus h. Also, a small letter and small letter means cancels. Remaining equation is g dash is equal to g m divided by r plus h whole square. This is the equation number. Next one, right. the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth. As per in previous video, we have discussed the equation is g is equal. To. The equation is g is equal to you know that on the surface of the earth. On the surface of the earth, the equation is g is equal to g m divided by r square. The equation number four. Next, we can compare equation. Next equation three divides equation four. Then what we do now? We are using the mathematical steps 
to find the equation for the axial ratio to become the whole surface of the earth. Now we want to do the work. Now we have mathematical steps to use for the work. Now we have axial ratio to gravity above the surface of the earth. This g dash is the value of the earth. Right. So we want to simply find the equation by using the mathematical terms. So here equation 3 divided by equation 4. Which one is the equation 3? Equation 3 is g dash. Equation 4 is g is equal to g m divided by r plus h the whole square into r square divided by g m g dash means g m divided by r plus h whole square into g means whole divided by g m divided by r square that is writing simply r square divided by g m so here g m g m constant cancels each other remaining term is r square divided by r plus h the whole square that is g dash divided by g is equal to that is g dash divided by g is equal to next we need equation for g dash so write the point here g dash is equal to g into r square divided by r plus h the whole square r plus h the whole square next term is g divided by r plus h the whole square divided by r square next we can simplify the equation you can find it how it is that is we will get the final expression is 1 plus h divided by r the whole square it is the final expression after simplifying the equation of it is g dash is equal to g divided by r plus h to the whole square divided by r square so r plus h to the whole square means r plus h into r plus h divided by r square means r into r r r cancels remaining r divided by h divided by r then h divided by r 1 plus h divided by r into 1 plus h divided by r that is 1 plus h divided by r the whole square once again you can simplify it using the proof so then equation for acceleration to gravity above the surface of the earth g dash is equal to g divided by 1 plus h divided by r the whole square next by using again simplify this equation it is a final expression or again you can simplify it by using mathematical formula by using binomial theorem by using binomial theorem you know that binomial theorem is x plus y the whole power n is equal to x plus x to the power n into x to the power n minus 1 plus n square into x to the power n minus 1 into it is y to the power n 1 then n minus 1 into y to the power 2 it is an equation it is a formula x plus y to the whole power n is equal to x plus n x y dash n x n minus 1 will n to the power 0 y to the power 0 that is n to the power 0 means you know that y to the power 0 means you know that that is x n then again n 0 i to after that n to the power 1 x to the power n into n minus 1 y to the power 0 i to y to the power 1 then again plus n square 0 i to 1 9 meter square into x to the power n will x to the power n minus 1 will x to the power n minus 2 then y to the power 0 y to the power 1 y to the power 2 substitute this equation substitute this equation for the last term of the Acceleration due to gravity equation that is g dash is equal to g into 1 plus h divided by r to the power minus 2. It is in denominator. I am writing this equation in numerator. So it changes the power of the given equation that is g dash is equal to g into 1 plus h divided by r to the whole power minus 2. Then using this binomial theorem. 1 plus h divided by r to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 plus x plus y to the power n similar 1 plus h divided by r to the whole power minus 2 is equal to 
there is n to the power 0 there is 1 only next x to the power x means 1 plus again power is uh, plus power is minus 2 substitute n right n to the power 1 minus 2 then again h divided by r correct h divided by r then again plus continue continue using this equation then that term is 1 minus 2 h divided by r for the equation of 1 divided by 1 plus h divided by r to the power minus 1 neglect the higher order term neglect the higher order term higher order no need to substitute here only two terms are enough so you can substitute the value 1 plus h divided by r to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 minus that is 1 minus 2h divided by r it is a equation substitute this value here so that is equal to g substitute this value here g into 1 minus 2h divided by r it is the equation for hence the proof the acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth g dash is equal to g divided by 1 plus h divided by r whole square or again by using the binomial formula write the binomial formula simplify the binomial formula then substitute the value of given equation that is 1 plus h divided by r the whole square that is minus 2 power how it is you know that maybe you clear this then 1 plus substitute the value then again substitute the value of 1 plus h divided by r to the minus 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 h divided by r substitute the given equation that formula is g dash is equal to g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r it is a final expression for acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth Okay, keep in your mind the final expression for acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth okay so it is an expression then again it is very important learn carefully then again next we are going to discuss the concept of acceleration due to gravity below the surface of the earth acceleration due to gravity below the surface of the earth yes hello students in previous video we have discussed acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth the final expression for acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth i think you clear the that the derivation or expression acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth the final expression is acceleration due to gravity g dash is equal to s g into 1 plus h divided by r to the whole minus 2 or by using binomial formula the equation is g dash is equal to g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r to the power r it is a final expression for acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth when h is much lesser than r now we are going to discuss another derivation for acceleration due to gravity below the surface of the earth so then you know the gravitational force f is equal to g m into m divided by r square by using same expression we are deriving equation of expression for acceleration due to gravity below the surface of the earth so i draw one diagram it is related to acceleration due to gravity yes so now here the object a body consider the point p is placed in previous expression placed above at a height h but here it is placed at a below the surface of the earth below the earth's surface so that point is g dash acceleration due to gravity below the surface of the earth the distance is d and the radius of curvature of the earth material or earth is r acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth is g then the distance from center of 
up to two point two t is r minus t. That means the distance from here to here r and distance from here to here t. The distance from here to here point c to point t is r minus t. Next, I will write the equation for gravitational force F is equal to the gravitational force F is equal to that is g m correct g m divided into m divided by r square now i will write the expression for gravitational force f is equal to that is at a point below the surface of the earth that is g m dash we are taking the object is placed below the surface of the earth the earth mass of the earth is g into m dash into m divided by y because of the object is placed inside the earth surface right object is placed inside the earth surface so that the mass of the earth surface is changes that is g into m dash into m right where well, you know that m means mass of the given body then r minus g the whole square it is the equation number one the thing is by using newton's law f is equal to m into g dash then again it is the equation number two compare equation one and two equation one and two that is m g dash is equal to g m dash into m divided by r minus g the whole square right m m m cancel remaining g dash is equal to g m dash divided by r minus t the whole square it is the equation number 3 then again expression for acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth gravity on the surface of the earth equation is g is equal to g m divided by r square gm divided by r square the equation of force next again by using mathematical steps so here we derive the expression by using the explanation of the given diagram next we can use mathematical steps divide equation 3 by equation 4 which implies divide equation 3 divided by equation 4 which implies then expression for g dash divided by g is equal to g m dash divided by r minus t the whole square into r square divided by g m here g g is common cancels each other remaining r square into m dash divided by m into r minus t the whole square that is equal to g dash divided by g correct next again write the expression for here m dash is and m means mass of the earth when the object is placed below the surface of the earth it is a mass of the earth surface right so then write the expression by using density you know formula for density density is equal to mass by volume we need expression for mass mass is equal to volume into density Then it is in sphere. We know the expression for volume of the sphere is four by three pi sphere cubed by r pi r cube. That is mass is equal to four by three pi r cube into rho. Then again m dash. But the expression for m dash is equal to yes, m dash is equal to four by three pi r minus t. The whole cube into then substitute these values here. The equation is g dash divided by g is equal to m by d by e by m by d by d. We substitute one by two. Then again simplify the equation. After substituting the value of m dash and m, then m dash is equal to four by three pi r minus t whole cube into rho divided by divided by m. Into r minus t whole square. Then again into 
value of m is equal to what is the value of m? m is equal to 4 by 3 into pi r q into rho pi r q into rho divided by divided by into the risk divided by r it goes to numerator r square here r q r square cancels 4 by 3 by rho 4 by 3 by rho cancels remaining equation is then remaining equation is g dash is equal to g into g dash is equal to g into remaining r minus t the whole cube is cancelled so r minus the whole square remaining r minus t divided by r is the remaining terms here r is common for both the r minus t so equation is g into 1 minus d divided by r that is g dash is equal to then final expression for acceleration due to gravity below the surface of the earth is equal to g dash is equal to g into 1 minus d divided by r with the expression for acceleration due to gravity below the surface of the earth. Then acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth is g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r. It is above the surface of the earth. It is below the surface of the earth. It is very important. These two expressions, derivations are very important. Once again, write and uh, listen the class, then solve in perfect, then again write the derivations. Okay. Yes. Thank you.